Two-handed swords and gerbs get more love than two-handed axes and maces. Why? Because they do not become unready after attacking, and most of them are balanced. This makes them much simpler to use, and hence they are an attractive choice for players, even new ones. Another upside is that Fast Draw has the two-handed sword specialty. Two-handed sword is an average difficulty skill that covers not only very long blades, but also certain other weapons, such as one-handed swords wielded in two hands. If we look at the weapon table in GURPS Slowtech, we will see these one and a half-handed swords. Bastard sword, bokken, katana, long sword, thrusting bastard sword and late katana. When wielded in two hands, they get increased damage and reduce strength requirement, but the rest of the characteristics stay the same. They, just like all other weapons covered by this skill, can both swing and thrust, and can deal impaling, cutting and crushing damage at reach 1 or 2. So they are simple and versatile weapons, but they cost a lot. Naginata is a pole arm that can also be used with a two-handed sword skill, and hence can be readied quickly with fast draw, unlike all other pole arms. It is one of the two weapons on this table that are unbalanced for swinging attacks, so consider using defensive attacks to mitigate this. The first two weapons on the table are staffs. I talked about them in my video about staffs. They are strictly worse when used with a skill instead of staff. They have worse damage, reach and do not get a bonus to parry. Basically this is just for people who do not have the staff skill, but need to whack somebody with a stick. Tetsubo is actually a two-handed wooden club with an iron-studded cap. It is usually used in the defensive creep, according to GURPS Lowtech. It can also be used with a two-handed axe mace skill. This is another weapon that is unbalanced when it is used for swinging attacks, but on the other hand, it is quite cheap compared to other weapons on this table. This leaves us with only three weapons that are actual two-handed swords and not weapons from other categories used with this skill. The two-handed Makohito is a wooden club with pieces of obsidian glued into place to create an edge. If it parries or is parried by any weapon, or is used to strike DR2 or higher, it suffers minus one to cutting damage until repaired. In addition, on any successful attack or successful parry against an armed attack, Roll 1D. On 1 or 2, the edge breaks, reducing the two-handed Makohuitl to a club that does swing plus 1 crushing damage. Fortunately, the weapon has two edges. The user can reverse it as a free action and use the other side until it, too, breaks. As I have said before, I am a big fan of obsidian weapons, even so this one cannot deal in painting damage and has a fractional armor divisor on its cutting attack. The greatsword and the thrusting greatsword are the true two-handed swords. The first one has a blunt tip and the second one has a sharp tip. Typically a greatsword has a recast saw, an unsharpened length of the blade for the wielder to grasp in the defensive grip without damaging the hand. These weapons are very expensive, but they deal good damage, have good reach and are balanced. They are pretty good overall, aside from the fact that they are two-handed weapons. They are also quite heavy, which means that they can break many weapons on a parry. The two-handed swords do not really have that many special rules, but there are still some things that you should know about. Two-handed swords are long enough to be used with a sweep technique, which is great. You can also hold a two-handed sword in the defensive grip, that improves your frontal parries, but decreases your side parries and makes your attacks weaker. This grip also allows using your weapon in a slam. Since the two-handed sword has a long parrying surface, it has halved penalties when making multiple parries per turn, and can also parry both halves of the dual weapon attack with a single parry roll at minus one. In terms of customization, there's not much that you can do. You can remove the hilt or add a hook. And that's it, as you can see, two-handed swords are quite simple, but you have to deal with the fact that they are two-handed weapons. Still, they are a good weapon of choice for a new player.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in the final video about melee weapons.